In this problem, we have to perform binary addition. We are given two strings and both are containing digits which are either 0 or 1. So this is not uh, a simple string, it represents a number in binary form. So for example, if you add 5 and 2, actually you are adding 101, its binary representation and the representation for 2 is 10 and the result is 7. Similarly, if you do uh, addition in binary format, then 0 1 is 1, 1 0 is 1 and then here it's 0, 0 1 is 1. So if you see this, uh, this is the binary representation of 7. So this is what we have to do. So first let's understand how do we perform binary addition given two numbers. So this number is representing 3, this is 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3 and this is 1. Now let's perform the binary addition. It's very similar to the decimal addition that we do. What we do, we add two numbers and if it goes beyond 9, we take a carry. Here also, uh, we have a number between 0 and 1. In decimal, we have from 0 to 9, so 10 values are there. In binary, we have just two values. So if the result is more than 1, there is a carry. Otherwise, there is no carry, similar to this decimal addition. So initially, carry is 0. So we add 1 and 1, we get 2, which is more than 1, just like more than 9 in decimal. So there is a carry of 1 and the result will be 0. So 1 and 1, if the result is 2, the result will be 0. If the result is 3, result will be 1. It cannot be more than 3 in any case. And if it's 1, then we will have result will be 1. So here 1 plus 1, 0 and carry of 1. Finally 1 plus 1, again 0 and carry of 1. And this 1 is written here. So if you see what is this uh, binary number, it's 2 raised to the power 0 plus 2, ra 2 raised to the power 1, 0 times 2 raised to the power 0, 0 times 2 raised to the power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 2. This is the decimal conversion. So this is 0, this is 0, this is 4. So this number is 4. And if you add in the decimal, it's again 4. Let's do one more operation to get some more practice. So it's carry is 0 initially. We add 0 plus 1, 1, no carry. Then 1 plus 1, 2. So result will be 0, sum will be 0, but there will be a carry. Just like when we add 9 plus 1, we get result as 10, but we do a carry forward of 1. So now there is a carry of 1 and these two are 0. So it's 1 and there is no carry. Now 1 plus 1, 2 which is 0 and carry of 1 and which is written here. And if you convert it to decimal, this will be 0 plus 2 plus 0 plus 8 that is 10. And what is this number? It's more than that, one more than that. This is the only difference. So 11. So it should be 21. And if you see this number, it's uh, 1 plus 2 is not there, 4, 8 is not there, so 16, so 16 plus 4 plus 1, that is 21. So these are given to you, this is S1 and it will be in string format. This is S2, this is also in a string format. You have to return this resulting S or resulting string, again in the string format. So uh, how did we perform the sum here? We started from the last characters of both of the strings no matter whether they are of equal size or not. And we continue till we reach the first character of the larger string. And then we additionally check if there was any carry forward, then we append it in the beginning. So sum, so clearly we will start from this. We will have two pointers. So let's uh, look here. So we have the two strings S1 and S2. We start from the last character of both. Let's call it C1. Let's call this as C2. And we, when we reach the first character of the larger string, then this smaller would have already finished. And then we check for carry and stop here. So initially carry is 0. We have not started yet. And what will be sum? Sum will be carry plus C1 plus C2. So we have to add all these three, this C1, C2 and carry. And what can be the maximum value of sum? If all 3 are 1, then it can be 3. It can be 2 if 2 are 1. It can be 1 also. It can be 0 also. So what should be the result in all these cases? 
if it's zero it's zero if it's one then we have to put one if it's two it will be zero again if it's three it will be one so you see that in odd cases it's one so uh, it will be we will append here so we can have a result string which will be empty and uh, we see that whether it's odd or even so in this case it's odd it's one so we append one here so this is the result now which will denote the last digit of result we have to finally reverse it since we start from right to left and here we are appending in the end since that is uh, easy operation if we append in the beginning it will be costly operation we have to shift everything so it's one and carry will be carry is updated to if sum is more than one if sum is zero or one that means only one of these three was one or none of them were, was one so carry will be zero but if it's more than one then carry will be one then one else zero so uh, carry is zero here next sum will be carry plus c1 plus c2 c1 c2 are one carry is zero so now sum becomes two so two is even so we append zero here so zero is appended and carry is one since it's more than one so this is the carry now add these three sum will be one carry will be zero so append one here and carry is zero next add these three sum will be two so two means uh, even so zero and carry is one since it's more than one then carry we have reached the end or the beginning but there is a carry so we add in the end so this is the result in reverse order now we will reverse it to get one zero one zero one and you can verify that this is the answer so let's write the code for this so this is the result and we will have two indices both pointing to the last character so this is denoting position we can get it using that square bracket and j is b dot length minus 1 and carry is initially 0 until we reach the beginning of the largest one the longer string we will continue so initially sum is carry or let's uh, sum is initialized to carry whatever was the value of carry then we will add to it depending on if i is greater than equal to 0 then sum plus equal to a i and we can do minus minus here itself minus zero so this will be zero or one a character but the sky value of that is not zero or one it's more than 40 i guess so we subtract sky value of zero so if this was zero character the result will be zero if it's one result will be one similarly for b And this will end when we have scanned both the strings and then we will check if carry is there or not if carry is there or we know that it's string so we can have one also or let's make it more generic it does not make a difference
and it works for this case let's try this second example quickly and both the cases work let's submit and the solution is accepted next we will do the same thing in java and python 3 so here we will use the mutable string builder length is valid and this works so we will submit and the solution is accepted in java as well so we are right here uh, beats 100% of runtime finally we will do it in python 3 ORD is used to get the ASCII value of a character So this we cannot do in Python. and the python solution is also accepted